Hi there, this is Kathy Crow at the Crow Cottage and I am here to do some stamping. I'm gonna use our, um, I'm gonna use our seabed, see, oh, this is seashells, seashells and seabed embossing folders today because I just wanted to show you a couple of things about that. Those are pretty cool. And let me get rid of this notification. All right, so um, I'm here uh, in Washington State. It's not as windy as it has been, um, but it's windy, and I don't know how my internet is going to act. It acts up whenever there's even the slightest bit of wind. Last week, I went out and um, cut just one big branch of our arborvita that was kind of messing with a line that might possibly be what was the problem. I don't know. <laughs> But Jeff came out and he said, I can do that for you. If you just show me where you want that, I'll cut that whole hedge. He's like, I don't need the whole hedge cut. I just need this one branch. That's all I'm doing. And um, and we will see if that is sufficient. I hope it is because the wind has been really, um, you know, wind is something we have here in the Tri-Cities all the time. We never get away from it. We might have, uh, you know, a couple of weeks that might don't have wind, but that's actually pretty good if we have even a couple of weeks without some wind. And, um, and the wind can be very strong here. And even, and lately my internet's been just acting up even when the wind's not even that strong. It's like, what is the deal? So if it isn't that line, then I am going to just have to evaluate whether I can even do this live anymore. Last two times ago, people just kind of gave up on me because that video was just acting up so bad, freezing all the time. So hopefully today will be better. And I am going to do my drawing. Now, please share my videos. When I get you to share the video, it really helps my business. So I appreciate it so much. I really like doing this, but you know, I don't really have to. <laughs> I don't really have to do this business and I feel like it's in God's hands. He's the one that's kind of taken it over for me and done what he has done with it. He's brought some wonderful people to my team and I would love to have anyone join us anytime. We have a lot of fun together. Um, and, uh, you know, but that's how I get the word out is by you guys sharing. So if there's no sharing going on, then there's no growing the team either. So, um, I don't, um, if you don't feel like sharing, that's fine, but it does help. So I am putting all of the names for people who shared that last video in here. I send you a little $5 coupon if your name is drawn out of here and you can collect those. I do need you to use one for shipping and handling when you redeem them. So anyhow, we will see who wins this time. It's always fun for me to see. And today is Trudy. Well, congratulations, Trudy. I know you haven't won for a while, so it's nice that you did. So there you go. So congratulations, and I hope you ha are having a wonderful day. My day's actually been really good. I went out and sat out for a little bit with my coffee, not too terribly long, because it was cold out there this morning. I, I think the temperature actually said it was pretty nice but it felt pretty cold. All right, so what I'm gonna do today, let me find my video here really quick. Um, it is uh, not cooperating with me over here on <laughs> in Facebook land. I'm gonna have to refresh my page and then let me see if I can find find it. I think I'm right here somewhere. Ah, there, there it is. Let me get this on and then um, and then I can see your, co boy, it's just, I'm clicking, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe my phone is running better than my computer. Maybe it's partly my computer too. That's acting up because it's just always acting odd. Okay. I think we're go. I think we're all good now. I think I can see everything. Sometimes I forget to check up here and see what's going on. So if I miss you, I'm terribly sorry. I'm trying, I'm not trying to ignore you. Now, I do want to just show you what I've done. Today, I'm going to do a little, kind of a rushed rushed uh, stamping ex experience because um, I have a dentist appointment today. So I need to finish quickly and get fin fi finished so I can get to that appointment. This was embossed using the seabed. Now, seabed is a big six by six. Our seashells is uh, probably more like a four and a quarter um, width, and it's still plenty big enough. Now, this is the card I made over the weekend, and I'm going to do this card today. And, um, and I think you're going 
going to really enjoy it. But I wanted to show you just a couple of things that you can do. Now, I used um, some vellum for this this one. So vellum is just a, a very lightweight or heavyweight paper, light, very lightweight cardstock. I don't, I wouldn't call it cardstock. I would call it paper. It's um, pretty heavyweight, and there are different um, strengths of, you know, op opacity. Is that the word? Um, and so this one's not as clear as some, but it's a nice weight. If you get ones, this is the Stampin' Up! one. If you get ones that are thinner and you can see through better, um, they don't go through the embossing process as well because they, they start, they tear. Okay, so our, our vellum is the right strength to use. And the reason I'm showing it is because, can you tell, let me find a... Huh, let me find, you, you can't see it with white, so I guess I'll just leave it on my black background here, but can you see all of the white? Now with um, embe embe uh, <laughs> vellum, you get a nice white effect where everything is raised. It's pretty cool. I think you're gonna like that. So that one I did, and I made a card with this. I'm not gonna do this today because all I did is I just embossed the vellum, glued it on. I didn't even concern myself with whether the glue was going to be shown. Normally with, with vellum, you will put glue under a frame or uh, things that are going to be stuck on the card so that you can't see where the glue is. Now it's a little darker where the glue was and that's because I did a little swir purposely knowing it was going to just kind of stick through and show the color of my cardstock under it. And I wanted to have that effect. If you didn't want to see any of that, then you would have to be more careful about the placement of your glue. But that's all I did. This is a this is a uh, die from our Seaside Textures. I think it was a couple of years ago. A little fishnet, and this is from our that one is retired, but our. Seaside Notions is still available, and that's what I did with all of the other stamping. And then this is just one of our little silver stars. It kind of makes a nice little sea, sea, um, sea star. What do you call those? <laughs> Why is my brain dead? I don't know. We'll just go on and pretend that it isn't. All right, so that is that card. Um, I do want to just show you another another thing. I haven't made anything with it yet, but another thing you can do with your embossing folders, and I'm sure you probably already know it, is you can take your ink pad. Now for this one, I inked up the, let's see if it's this side. Which side did I ink up? Okay, I inked up the front. So you can look at your in your your embossing folder where the label is, is where the front of the embossing folder is. And that's the side you wanna ink up. Okay, so just, I took my ink pad. I'll just use this one, not open. I just ink it. So if you rub it, you can tear your ink um, or your pad a little bit. So you, do, you don't wanna necessarily rub it, but you can pat it down. You can use a brayer. And a brayer is like a kind of like a sponge, just like a paint roller almost. It's hard, and you can roll it and roll it on there. But I don't think it hurts the pad much if you're careful. So yeah, I just put it on there. Then you just run it through your embossing machine. All of that ink is transferred to this background. So isn't that pretty? Then I can take my pens as I want to, and I can color on there if I want to. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do that or not. So um, this one I'm thinking, what am I going to do about it? Maybe I'll figure it out as I go. Anyway, today's card that we are doing, those are just some ideas. Today's card I am going to use, um, I'm using glossy cardstock. Okay, I took glossy cardstock and embossed it already. I did a little test to make sure my <laughs> my blending pen wasn't going to rub off on it because um, the the cards that I used originally are not stamping up. This is the same. It's glossy. It's just a little bit more vanilla y. I don't know if you can tell that. But this was more of a pearlescent. But it's cardstock, but it's a pearlescent. And I just got that at the copy store. I don't even know. So many years ago. I 
happen to see it. I'm a paper hound, so wherever I am that there's paper, I'm looking. And I happen to see that, bought probably four or five pieces of cardstock, and then cut it. But when I was trying to do this video, I found our old glossy. This is our old Stampin' Up! glossy cardstock. Now, we are not selling this. I don't know why. But for some strange reason, we are not selling this right now. But it will come back, I'm sure, at some point in time. We do have, if you're wanting something from Stampin' Up! Oh, where's one that's open? That's, that's our shimmery shimmery white where are you though i need you in an open form because i this is just white <laughs> i have so many pieces of paper over here in little containers where are you i know i have one that's open because i do use you occasionally that's oh this is glossy this is our old one though it is not available anymore sorry but as you can see we did have it at one point I'm going to just go ahead and open it because I know I have one open over there, but for some reason it's not appearing to me. So I'll just open this shimmery white one. Now I know we do still have this. It's very pretty. It's just very subtle. Um, I don't even know if you can... I can hardly see it, and I'm looking in the light here. There, now I can see it. It's got little glitters on it, but its texture is such that it's not going to at all do what I'm wanting to do with this card. So it does not work for what I'm doing. The background I'm going to use, this little, little teeny strip here, is this DSP. This is from our Love You Always designer series paper. So that love you all, why is my video all blurry? I don't know. I don't know. I still do think our internet's just really having trouble. So if, if my video's not good, I'm terribly sorry. It'll probably be, be better once I get it on YouTube because usually it's just all an internet issue. And if it's blurry now, it will record and then it will clear itself up in the transfer. So strange. But anyway, so that's that Love You Designer Series paper. And this one doesn't have anything on the back. Um, this is, you know, a very nice subtle thing. But I actually am going to take my blender brush, my blending sponge brush, and use some mint macaron because I want it to match what my seabed colors are going to be. So these are our new little blending brushes. Aren't they cool? They're really nice. And then I can just color my side of my cardstock here, the color that I, I actually wanted. I just don't want it to be that brown. I want it to be this mint macaron. Oh, I kind of need it to be the dimension that I need it, but let's just guess, okay? Because <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how wide this is going to end up. I haven't cut it yet, so we'll just guess. And uh, you can see I'm doing some dark, some light. I don't really care. I'm just kind of trying to cover it and not, I don't want it to be that crumb cake color. And it doesn't have to be a super strong green either. I just don't want it to be crumb cake. There, that's good. And then I'll take that home back to the kitchen and wash that out later. It'll work great. So we'll set that aside. I've already embossed this. Okay, I just wanted to show you how nice this color is, how quickly it colors. I'm gonna get all of these colors in and I'm just using, I believe these are the only ones I'm using. Pool Party, Mint Macaron, Flirty Flamingo, and So Saffron. And I have to take off my glasses for this part. So let's put you a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. And let's just go ahead and continue with my mint macaron, okay? So I'm just finding the little branches. And that one's the dark one. I think I'm going to go get the light one here. Let's get the fat side because you can actually go over this real quick. Does not matter if it's going into the my blue pool too much because I can kind of clean that up. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. All right, so there's a whole bunch of these little sea seaweed 
guys sticking out there. You probably can hardly see it um, on camera because I'm having a hard time seeing it too, but it's raised. So once the light gets on it, I can see it quite well. It's just every time I stick my hand here, I'm kind of blocking my light. And I can't put my other light on too much or it wreaks havoc with my camera. Now I think I want to just add a little darkness to each one of these. Okay. Don't touch it until it's dried. Once it's dried though, it's on there good. I, like you saw me kind of rub it. If your hand is moist and you're very sweaty because you worked out or something, you might be able to rub some of it off, but um, you'd have to you'd have to be trying to so it actually is pretty permanent uh, These are the alcohol blending pens now. I'm gonna just go over it I'm gonna get the skinny tip and I'm gonna just blend that in Okay, so there's not a line And I'm pressing pretty good because I want to make sure that it gets it and blends that in Some of them I don't need to worry about, but I don't really want any strong fat lines. Strong skinny lines, okay. Fat line, one well, not so much. Okay. Jeff and I had some delicious scones over the weekend. Oh, they were so good. Our local coffee bakery spot that we love. Um, has created a new cherry scone. It was really, really yummy, but because they had done that, I ate two instead of one. <laughs> Normally, I only let myself have one, but we went, maybe I had three. Did I have one on Friday, too? I think I might have. Oh, I did, because Jeff was off. That's right. He had Friday off, so I had three, three, two extra scones this weekend and gained two pounds, of course. All right, so now I'm going to be starving myself again. Now let's try. We're gonna take um, we're gonna take a pool party, just this light colored pool party, and we're gonna just go over the whole shell. Look at that! Aren't you pretty? Just light coloring. I don't need it to be uh, super solid all over I'm just kind of going around here can you see this I hope so it's sure pretty I'm enjoying it it's such an easy pro one to do and so what I'm backing what I'm getting this idea from basically this is a bundle that's selling this is our friends are like seashells um, bundle and uh, this embossing doesn't come with just the bundle. You have to buy the suite. And I think the suite's available. I know some things have gone on back order already, but it just means you'd have to wait for it. All right, this is a suite. You will want the papers nice. Um, yeah, the embossing folders. I think you get both of them. With the suite, you get both. I think both the seabed and the seashells one, and they're both wonderful, so you will want them for sure. There's a whole lot of people that have done cool things. You can take this, emboss it on our regular cardstock, and then use our pearlescent inks too to do all kinds. It's just, it's fabulous, all the things you can do. Let's take our dark pool party. I'm gonna take the dark one and I'm gonna just go over my my water okay I'm just gonna try to get some color in here not a ton and it's gonna look a little sloppy at first don't worry it'll be fine I know when people see me using these pens like this they get a little worried <laughs> but because this is that glossy paper you, you're given a lot of leeway here. So you don't, you can be 
pretty sloppy with it. I'm I'm not being cautious at all. If I get it on the shell, oh well, I'm gonna fix it. Don't worry. If I get it on the leaf, the sea leaf, you know, the sea seaweed leaf, oh well, it'll be fine. The only thing I do want to try to keep it off are my little detailed leaves. We've got some seaweed here that has a detailed vein in it. I did not I didn't color those yet and I want those to be are so saffron so I am going to be a little careful around those as you can see I'm doing right now just getting a little bit of blue in there but trying not to get the leaf too much if I get it a little I still am going to be able to correct that but I'd rather rather not but this way I can get a lot of ink on here without a lot of trouble and without having to I don't I did not want to ink up my emboss you know my folder and do all of that I didn't I didn't want that kind of ink on here because for one thing that kind of ink is not going to stay this alcohol ink is very permanent now I'm going to use the light one and just kind of blend that in a little bit not too much just a little just in the areas it's necessary Now you can see, again, like I said, I'm even going over my leaf. I'm not really concerned about it because I can go back over. If the leaf suddenly starts to become all pool party-ish, um, I can fix that again with my mint macaron. Now some of these I got a little stronger than I wanted, so I'm gonna have to use the fine tip pen and use just a little bit of pressure. To correct that. You can hear it squeaking. I hope that sound doesn't bug you. Some people are super sensitive to sound. Our kids are, I guess most of our kids weren't. Jeff and I are pretty sensitive to sound, but I think I'm much more so than he is. But sounds of happy kid playing never bothered me. I always liked hearing that. That didn't distress me a bit. Like like toys, you know, some people don't like kids' toys that make noise. And we probably did have some of those, and I've sort of blocked them out of my memory. But for the most part, I don't really remember disliking any other toys too much. But, um, but I don't, but sounds of people, you know, arguing would always drive me into the living room to see what the issue was. But for the most part, I'm just talking about loud sounds, not, not that squeaky sound, that squeaky sounds not really getting to me. Some people are super sensitive and can't even handle something like that. In that case, um, this might not work for you. It's kind of squeaky. All right, so just trying to get a little finer detailing around the edges there with this pool party. And then the painstaking part of this will be mostly done. The rest is just fun, believe me. All right, so there we go, that's that. Now we're gonna take our little light flirty flamingo and we're going to do something nice on the edge of our shell. You can do whatever you want. If you want to add more pink to your shell, just do a little bit like this. Okay, and it's mostly just coloring those top ribs. You can be even more gentle and get just the top ribs if you want. You can also use your color lifter. Let's see if I can find it. The color lifter, if there's a spot that you really don't, you think, oh, that's too much pink, you could probably, you could probably get that off with a color lifter. But I like it, and I'm not going to change that. I do think I need a little bit of our petal pink. 
Okay, so here's Petal Pink. We're gonna go with this one, Petal Pink. And then our Flirty Flamingo can be in here with Petal Pink. Very cute. Maybe just a little bit more Flirty Flamingo, just, just on the ribs. give us and those lines um i can see that i did get a little bit of green right there so i'm going to put a little more pink on the edge of my shell try to get that off a little bit it's being stubborn there we go all right, very good. Now, last one is this big one. I don't I don't know that I necessarily want it to be so pinky. So let's stick with our flirty flamingo. Um the thing is that I really like the fact that this glossy paper stays glossy even while I'm coloring it. I can't really co cover up that glossiness, and I like that. It's pretty. Okay. I think I might go out on a bike ride today. I don't know. Every day I keep looking out there thinking I'm going to get out, and it keeps blowing. I'm gonna have to go back to my usual. Us usually when we're having a lot of wind, I just know to keep an eye on the window. When I see the wind has stopped, get out there quick before it starts up again, because it never lasts for too awfully long. And the wind's up again. I haven't been doing that, I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm kind of psychologically hoping I'm not having to go out on a bike ride. I don't know, hope not, but. Could be. All right, I'm just trying to make that shell just a little bit different. Adding just a little bit of that pool party, and then I'm going to add some more of my petal pink, too. Okay, there we go. I'm still not, I'm just not seeing those ribs quite as much as I wanted to. So this is our light pool party. Let's see if I can get those back in. There we go. All right, now for our So Saffron. This is gonna kind of make everything pop out. I'm gonna use the fine tip at first. I kind of want to feel for what's happening here. It looks like it's pretty good coloring. I think I can go with that. So we'll get out the bigger and because it goes a lot faster and you can kind of just color along the top. Again, if I'm getting it in the water, not gonna matter. If I get it a little bit on my shell, not gonna matter because I can just sort of blend it in and make my shell just a little yellowy maybe, which would be fine. Now, if you didn't like it, any yellow at all. It, uh, yellow, by saying yellow, I'm just, it's kind of gonna make it more of that peach color that I added to these anyway, so wouldn't really matter. Let me do this one to kind of show you what I mean. Okay, it's not gonna, not gonna alter it all that much. And you might even like the variation. Okay, give us a little bit of an edge there. And if I wanted to, I could take my so saffron and sort of distinguish some of my sea seaweed a little too so it's not all just blending into that pool party because pool party is pretty close to our light mint macaron all right now i wherever i went over color and might have picked some up uh, this is a very light pen i didn't want any 
green on it. So I, that's why I rubbed it there. All right, that is looking pretty good. Um, I do, my ribs here aren't sticking out as much. I kind of liked these ribs to be a bit darker. So this is Calypso Coral. Let's see if I can get those ribs to stand out just a little bit there. That's better, don't you think? I'm going to go like that. And like that. And then let's grab out our pink petal, our fruity flamingo again, and try to blend that in a bit. And then that makes those ribs stand out just a bit more. Okay, um, what else do I want to do? I think that's about it. I don't think I really need to do. If you wanted those dots to stand out more, the little, you could color it more. You could put some um, Wink of Stella. I had a little accident with my Wink of Stella. Um, <laughs> I was trying to get it on my label. In fact, it was this label. I was doing a label and I plain one with this sentiment. This is from our friends are like seashells. And, um, but I wanted it sparkly just to, to, you know, match the theme. And I squeezed it and it spilled all over it. So that's why I have actual glitter paper there for that label. I can't see my sentiment as well because of the glitter paper, but well. Um, you can see it in person, yet just not so much on camera. Okay, I'm trying to keep these together. This is how I keep my pens together because we sell these as light and dark, right? And I want to keep the same colors together. If I don't take the time to do this now, I'll get lazy because I'm, like I said, going to go on my dentist appointment. I'll be rushed and I might just shove those into the container and be sorry that I did that later. All right, so let's trim this down. I'm going to move us up a little bit here. We're going to go ahead with our standard card size, but let's just trim the edges first and then I'll figure out what size we're going to be using. All right, so we'll trim off the parts that I don't like so much. That's pretty messy there. Let's trim it a little closer. I do want this to be five and a quarter, so we're still going to trim off quite a bit there. Let's get that off. Let's start working on this side. Okay, we're all we're we're almost there. This is five and a quarter, so we really want just a tiny bit more off there. And four and just four inches is what I want here, and that would be there. So we don't have a lot to go. This side's pretty good, so let's just trim it all off on this side over there and be done with it. Now I can trim the backing. And this is going to just be your standard four and a quarter by five and a half. Let's do it on this end. Five and a half. Wow, that's actually perfect right there. Oops, I lost my I sliver went down in there. There it is. <laughs> All right. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I, I like it. It's, it's, a, it's a really nice, it's a really nice um, seashell. Now, the thing I found out here, let me tell you this really quick, because I'll forget if I don't do it right now. I have not used my dye a lot. I have some. Now our starfish can be cut out with a die. And our sand dollar has a die, but I found that it wasn't a perfect match. I don't know why, but it's not. The little sea one little seaweed piece has a die. And the clamshell has a die that cuts it out, this teeny tiny one. That one's a pretty good match. 
uh, this one is just one of the um, one of the seaweed one that has a good match to it. Oh, it's on the outside of my. <laughs> there it is. That one has a really good match. Let me tuck him back in where he belongs inside the plastic. But the dye, the rest of these, um, they don't cut clean. So your major big shells on this in this set I was very disappointed to discover. These are nice big shells inside when you stamp these, and um, but your die does not cut them out individually. So just for you to know, you are going to, when you cut it, it's going to have all this seaweed stuff. It looks really cool. Um, I like it, but I was unhappy that these dies did not cut out individually. These are the big shells. So you, you when you cut it, you can cut, you know, fussy cut the edges off to, without a lot of trouble. But for me, if I have to fussy cut anything, even slightly, then that means I had to fussy cut it and... I'm not happy about that. So I do really like the embossing folder that I'm using right here, but the die, not so much. Um, it would have been fine if they'd have included three more dies that just cut out just the big die, the big shells. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I thought they did, it didn't. I have got to look at those catalog images better before I purchase things, don't I? All right, there you go. It's so cute, but we do need a stamp for the sentiment. Plus, this one's just crying out for some ribbon. I didn't put any ribbon on this one because I didn't want to detract from all of the shimmery shininess of it, but I do really kind of miss the ribbon. I did this one with um, mint macaron for the sentiment, but I don't know. Do I do want to do that again? Maybe. Let's see what we're going to do. We're going to do, let's grab out our seaside notions and we'll do thinking of you. I love this one. And that way I can use my little spatter in the background too. I do like this little spatter guy. Any little spatter ones are always good. You're going to want those. If you see them in a set, then buy the set. You can't have too many of those, I don't think. Williams Crumb Cake. Let's use my little scrap because I'm going to want to stamp off on that. And then we'll do a couple of those. Maybe even a third. Just to make sure I've got plenty of spatter on there. And... I'm going to have to find my cleaning cloth. Where is everybody today? Am I not live? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I went to the wrong page or something. I can't believe no one's with me. If you are with me, for some reason, none of your comments are showing. Okay. Is today Monday? <laughs> I think today is Monday. Usually someone appears, so it is odd that I'm not seeing any comments. All right, so thinking of you, this is what we're going to do right there. And let's see what else can we stick in there. We do have a little clamshell. I think you might work. That way I can pull in some of my other colors will match it up a bit better. Just finding flirty flamingo on the side. We'll want to we'll want to stamp that off. And we'll stick you right there. And we can stick you possibly there. We'll have to stamp you off a couple of times to do that. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. All right, now we're going to cut that out, stick it on, and we'll be all done. And I'll be ready to go to my dentist appointment, which is in just about an hour. Little, little more than an hour, so I'm good. 
Jeff's been getting home so much earlier, too. His schedule this semester is really a sweet one. He does get up super early. Probably most of you wouldn't like getting up at 5. I think he's getting up at 5. For him, that's actually not bad. Sometimes he has to get up as early as 4.30. I think that's what his schedule was this last last semester. Let's see. Tiny, tiny oval. I want to get it as small as possible because I don't want to cover up those seashells. They're so pretty. Oops. There we go. So yes, I am. I end up cutting off a lot of my shells. I understand, but that's okay. This is just whis um, not whisper white. That's what our old white paper was called. That's basic white. Is what our new new name is. Let's turn you like that. And then you get to figure out which one do I want to cover up. That one? Yeah, we'll cover that one up. How's that? I've got my sprinklers on, and when the wind is blowing, it's getting my it's getting my window on this just this one window a lot. I've got to get out there and adjust it. I thought I had. Apparently not enough. Grab out um, a piece of white and we'll cut that at five and a half and four and a quarter. I have to keep my scoring blade over on the side. That is gorgeous. I love it. So cute. All right, so see what I'm ha doing? I'm just rubbing, nothing coming off. It's those uh, blending pans work beautifully. Let me um, sit down. <laughs> I'm trying to move my camera and I'm still up. Okay, somebody is with me. Oh, you guys, thank you. You're here, awesome. I thought I was all alone. I don't know why my computer is not showing one comment, but it's not. I thought I was all by myself. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. I'm glad I wasn't by myself, but I it was sad that I couldn't see your comments and didn't know anyone was with me. I thought I was all by myself. <gasps> okay, two of us. All right. Well, Andy, maybe she took off. Andy, it looks like Andy's here. Let's count the hearts. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. I'm feeling better now. I'm thinking, man, what's the deal here? I'm all by myself. <laughs> so much for my seashell friends. <laughs> now, I knew you, if you weren't here, you were busy. So I really wasn't upset about that. But I'm glad you are here. Can you see my sprinkler, how it's got in my window? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, seriously? I'm going to have such, oh, we have such hard water. That just means I have to go out there with my lime away to clean it off. And then I'll have to rewash it. And, and I, I can even see my sprinkler. I don't know what's happened to it, but it's like, it's shooting like right into the house so i'm gonna get wet going out there and adjusting it all right thank you again so much for watching and for sharing i don't know if you heard um who won but i'll let you go back and see that if you want to and i think you're gonna really like this i don't know if you guys ha do you have this set this uh friends are like seashells i'm i'm really enjoying using it 
both with the seaside notions and with our old seaside textures because I loved that one. I didn't really like the octopus so much, but I liked all the other stuff. So it's kind of neat when they come up with these new sea ones because then I can add to my, my beach theme. Um, even if they had just one thing. So this one has that cute little seahorse. Isn't he sweet? I love the seahorse. He's really cute. And the shells are a nice size. But I was really happy when they came out with this one because I wanted bigger shells and, and a really good sand dollar. I didn't have a good sand dollar. There was one in the other one, but I like this sand dollar size better. And um, and having the other the extra little seaweed stamps too are nice. So I really like the set. It's a great set. All right, you have them, Linda. Yeah, it is a really good one. Oh, you do too, Andy. Yeah, I'm not too surprised because we have seen some. I we've seen some fabulous samples, haven't we, out there in in Pinterest land using this set. So you can't. There's nothing you can do to make it bad, I think. But I did just want to show you how quick and easy it is to use our um, alcohol pens on that uh, when it's glossy, glossy cardstock. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye.